Hello, hello, uh, hello, future Zane. Good morning. Ooh, I just drank one old thing. (laughs) How long has it been sitting out? Well, I think it's since the last podcast, so that's just a few days, but. Wait, it wasn't the one that was on. Is that the one? Yes. Oh, How old is that? Might. Probably old. No, I, I was sitting there I'm, last. I'm not Matt, even, they don't even make that flavor anymore. Pump your stomach out. That's. I'm, I don't want to say it, but that's what? the one I spit in the other day when I had a loogie oh, as I was walking. Are fuck. you serious? Oh, I'm sorry, Matt. That's I, disgusting. I have to go get water, probably. Right? What do you do after? Dude, you why did I imagine you spit like full of tar, like like you smoke cigarettes? So oh, you don't yeah. smoke anymore. Oh, fuck. No, all right. Start the Yuck. Bottom. We have started already. I'm, I'm totally kidding. I didn't do that. I just wanted to get yeah, him I know, just up. Get him a little rolled up. We gonna have a very good day, and we gonna have a good fucking night. Do you remember that? Oh, that was. Oh that was yeah. A hit. Everybody, get your coffees up in the air, like you just don't care. Woo, guys! If you got the unfiltered Zane and Heath cup, go ahead, Ooh. put that up. Mm, loud and proud, baby. Lock it in, baby. Go ahead. It's coffee talk, oh, baby. baby. Get that intro started. Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god, bitch! I'm high. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god! And I okay. shouldn't be high because, man, I'm, I'm a little tired. But, but we got, baby, we got a podcast to run, baby. We, we got are shit dedicated, to do. dedicated. Mm-hmm. dedicated. Yes, we are. Sorry, oh. guys. It's literally like a, a wind thunderstorm going on right now oh, outside. So sorry that. if the audio is uh, picking that up. Is we that were. a helicopter? Actually, just keep Twitter open because Twitter's. Oh, I are, new. I right now on my computer, I have the Los Angeles fire um, alerts. Yeah, so we're on our way here, and, Matt, and Matt's like, dude, I don't like wind it's now. It's a bad vibe. When when means when is more of a chance that or when there's a fire, there's more of a chance that it spreads quicker. Yeah. Correct, Matt. Last time uh, the fire here in Porter Ranch, it was super windy all day, and me and Mariah had like a really eerie feeling. Uh, That's so every scary. time it's like super windy, we have like a flashback. Oh my god, Matt and I just watched. A documentary last night it was really we didn't we were, we were in a good mood so we're like matt's like are you sure you want to watch this is gonna put your mood down I'm like dude uh, it's fine like let's watch it like it's informative it's gonna be like interesting and man have you ever heard of the campfire it's called campfire it's called that's campfire. the name of the fire it was the deadliest wildfire in u.s history it happened last no. year in november of 2018 where in uh, Paradise, California, which is Northern California. Oh, 88 people died in that fire. Yeah, like, like in that roughly is, around that amount. Unbelievable. Insane. I know. I can't believe we're starting on such a sad I note, know, but I know, I'm I know, like. It's crazy. But like, no, this documentary was crazy. And like, they're showing a geographical map of like where the yeah. fires were starting. And it was so windy where like fires would just catch throughout the city and it was just enclosing the city this entire wow. this fire in paradise california yeah, yeah the n- name of the documentary is called fire in paradise but the name of the fire is called campfire like fires also have names like hurricanes yeah. like there's like different names for each one but it was like called campfire because at first they thought it was just so insignificant like they thought it was on oh, just one whole shit. other side like you know miles and miles away from the city and then all of a sudden they started getting calls that it was coming from the town they were in and they're like there's no way they were playing all the calls that were coming in and there was like tens and hundreds of just calls from different areas like there's a fire a fire just started in my backyard a fire is starting on my street like it was oh, just wow. shit. everywhere it just spread so quick and ev- and dude what was it it was like five six thirty in the morning like school started like so kids were in school at this time oh. and by 7 45 8 in the morning the entire sky was completely dark you couldn't see like smoke? they show it yeah it was smoke but it was so dark where it looked like the middle of the night. Yeah, and so yeah. It was, there were like Insane. teachers telling the stories of their kids like on the bus, and they were like evacuating the kids, and the kids were like, "Teacher, what time of day is it?" And they're like, "It's ten in the morning." They're like ten at night. They go, "No, ten, ten in Weird. the morning." What? It got so bad, and it basically the fire trapped like the basically half the city into like the middle of the city, and they had to take all of them onto this like giant cement parking lot. Because they oh, couldn't shit. go anywhere else, and that was like the safest place to it be. It was like yeah. a ring around it, them, like the, wow. it was oh, just like yeah. this wall. The cement they wall. all had to evacuate their cars. They couldn't, you know, obviously go in any buildings or anywhere that was going to be near, yeah. like trees burning down and stuff. And they just had to get on this parking lot and just and lay put a, low, and put, put a blanket, blanket over, over them, them, and just lay down and just hope that this fire. Like they all thought they were going to die. Did oh, you I guys see the uh, the fire that just happened in Australia? Yeah, with the koalas. No. Yeah, I what? think they said the koalas oh, yeah, are. I saw that. I don't know the way to word it. Don't quote me on it, but uh, they're technically ex- like wild extinct. Yeah, they have some in like 
um, like zoos and mm-hmm. in captivity, but in the wild, I guess they're extinct now. So Crazy. we got to be very cautious this broadcast. Yeah, so yeah, I'll have the fire alerts open. Hopefully nothing bad will happen. If something did happen, what's our evacuation plan? Oh, I got my plan, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, since well, we do share so because we're yeah, what, is, what is our evacuation plan? Heath is just concerned. Okay, everyone's going to get in one of my cars. We're so get Lamborghini. All of <laughs> Priority. No, Lamborghini. Lamborghini. No, fuck the Lamborghini, bitch. We need to bring the set with us. <laughs> we just grab a tripod. We grab uh, the light and go yeah no i just literally just grab your your valuables your belongings and stuff that can't be replaced that's all i did last time like, all Zane, you're low on gas plan. though when we pulled up oh really <laughs> yeah i think you have about 20 miles till empty so well we're gonna be on neutral and we're gonna be pushing that's <laughs> one thing guys make sure if you're like literally treat a quarter tank of gas as empty yeah I, always always push now that you do it's crazy when we remember we were driving through the neighborhood and that house that was completely burnt down there was a tesla in there and i just couldn't believe that tesla was still in there and the, we're we're saying that it could have just been dead he, he it forgot to charge charged. it yeah. overnight like like that's crazy oh the, yeah. the house we saw yeah, yeah. Oh, so sad it, it's crazy just seeing that tesla just completely burnt yeah do you think Wild. it was because like there were the fire was happening and he was like oh i gotta get my tesla and it was like dead like we just I don't, I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Because speaking of fires, Matt has an update on the cabin fire story. That no remember? way. So how yes. is this keep going so on? Three podcasts ago, Matt <laughs> Matt told us about this whole story where all these moms had a retreat and they went to a cabin. Right. And it went. It just got on fire and nobody knows what happened. And then they shared all the pictures on Facebook and we yeah. thought it was really Did funny. Did they find out what happened? Well, I thought I thought I was just going to get away with sharing the story on here and I'm like, for sure there's no way that my friend listens to the podcast oh, or no. anything. Whoa. And then I was sitting there on my laptop and no. I get a notification i see my good childhood friend's name come up and it says um it goes bro i was just listening to the podcast about when my mom and it was like dot 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 and i was like oh Ooh, I my god Matt opened it and he was like zane zane he closed the last i was like zane's it because it was long oh i was shit. like oh my god matt matt are, are you in trouble he's like i don't know i don't my mom's my mom's gonna kill me all her friends are gonna be all yeah because like, oh i thought i just had this like fear that like i shouldn't be running my mouth like about <laughs> matt's like, on the podcast family friends business yeah, yeah, yeah. and i was like in the holidays are coming up and i'm like this is gonna make some holiday parties <laughs> real interesting <laughs> um but no he did give me an update um he said bro i was just listening to the pod about when my mom went on the retreat with her friends and the cabin burned down ha 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 ha, ha. i'm dead ha 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 <laughs> he says i asked her if they ever found out what happened and she said the owners or whatever never told them she said that they were feeding an outdoor fireplace earlier in the night and then everyone went to bed later and woke up with the house smoking on fire apparently they were new owners and the and the previous ones had added the fireplace outside recently my guess is the shit was never up to code and it spread from the embers or something so crazy how something like like fires can just spread so quickly like that like just something being a little bit off can send like a a spark somewhere and then it just blows up and you get trapped like there's no way to like escape Escape it. Like, yeah. that's the freakiest thing in that. My mind had never, like, wrapped around that. Like, yeah. Oof. Something I, so much bigger than you, like, you are, you're just out of control. Uh-huh. I hope to never experience it. Like, because where we live, again, it's so, like, just cluttered. And it, it's just, because after watching that, I just imagined us trying to get out of our neighbor, neighborhood. And it's, like, the scariest thing. <laughs> Even the video, David just brought it up the other day when he blew up that race car thing. And it shot a spark into that Dude, patch of bad. dead grass. And Wait, it went... Whoa. So fucking fast. It was just like a really, really old vlog. And this was back then where none of us when even we at, knew we were at about the, like... at the Denny house. So we had a race car it was that... Like a, it was Jonah's race car. They blew it up and it shot like some fire, like spark at this dead patch of grass. And David saw it and it like caught like a little, a little bit like this, like a quarter size on fire. And he's like, oh shit. So he goes running over to it. And within like... Two seconds of running over to it, it spread to like this big and he's stomping it out. And he like just how fast it started moving. If he didn't get it out, that whole neighborhood would have been on fire. Oh, isn't my. it crazy? And like that was this was back then where like I feel like we didn't really know anything about like just what what fires can do to like a whole how neighborhood, crazy you know? And dangerous it is. Yeah. So just like yeah, be careful. <laughs> well, don't play with fire, but like just be careful. Yeah. Playing with shit like that. Oh my god, the one <laughs> <laughs> the one video you sent me a while ago, it was the people in the backyard that <laughs> yeah. 
Oh and my god, like, have you guys seen it? No. Yeah. Mariah, oh, we gotta pull it up. Oh, we gotta pull it up. It is I'll so try to find funny. it. Like all they had to do was get a hose to put it out. But this is like when it was like the whole front yard was on fire. What do we oh, do? I found, <laughs> oh I found it. I found, Matt's I found looking up. Backyard. Backyard. So it just started off on this little tiny fire in the backyard, and this girl's running back into the kitchen, and she's just trying to fill up a cup of water to get out to the backyard fast enough to pour on it. <laughs> and look how see how small it is. Like yeah. right now, it's as big as like oh, cute. I don't know, like a if a bucket was look on how top dry of grass. that grass is. But oh. then look, Mariah, as this progresses, it gets bigger <laughs> and starts spreading <laughs> fast in between these houses. So bad. Like, I know. Unbelievable. Look, and then they start freaking out. Like, they realize these cups of water aren't doing it's enough. Not doing it. And, they're like, and you know, you could, you could tell that the parents were at home. Yeah. Like, the parents weren't home. They're oh, probably yeah. at work. And they're Look like, fuck, yard. we're in trouble. I know. Uh, this is unbelievable for the people who are listening. Yeah, if you're listening you have to watch the sure video to, version to see this clip. But. Yeah, make sure to tune in so you can watch these videos with us because it's, it's, it's Just it's don't crazy. play around with fire. Yeah. It's not a joke. It's so crazy how like your common sense kind of just goes out the window when you're in a panic situation. Mm -hmm. Like obviously right now you're looking at that like the hose, grab a hose, just hose it down. Yeah. But like I'm sure you're in that situation. You're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I feel like in the in any like tragic situation, you either black out or you're a superhero out of nowhere. Yeah. What was that called again? Yep. And uh the oh, what was it? No, the uh, uh, oh, it's like uh, not hilarity. What's the word? Oh, when you have just hilarious uh, strength, strength, strength. Uh, something strength. I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh, hysterical, strength. Strength. hysterical strength. Hysterical strength. There yeah. it is. Good job, you know, Mariah. You know, funny strength. I learned it from our Ster first podcast. Gold go star for you, baby. Gold star. <laughs> oh, but you almost set that party on fire that we were at. I did. What? What? You started. Uh, what fire did you start? I don't want to say party which party because I don't want us to get in trouble. But it was a pretty fancy formal party, and the candle went out. Out, and then he took the napkin and was trying to like oh, oh shit what, what, what is he talking about no, no, no. this was the other night he <laughs> what, where, where was I where was it so there was a candle there was two candles on the table we were sitting at one of them went out because the wind blew it out and I was like oh let me just light the <laughs> light the other one real quick <laughs> so I grabbed the napkin and I went like this to put it in the fire of the one and then went to put it into the other one and obviously I know <laughs> it's flammable but the napkin <laughs> literally like almost exploded in my hand with how fast it caught fire. I threw it on the ground and I'm like stomping it out as you're talking to the head lady. Get and out I'm of like, here. I'm like, I'm like oh this stomping. And like Mar Mar Mariah and I were like, we don't know this man. <laughs> <laughs> this happened when I was here. Yeah, I tried Oh my to God, that's when you guys were like huddled yes. up something. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. what you guys were doing though. I was what? freaking out. You didn't out. bring it up after we left? <laughs> it was just. It didn't cross our minds. Guys, we felt so bad. How you gonna burn down you're gonna burn down Camila Cabello could you imagine oh Camilla my god clickbait just fucking just we dead. almost burnt down Camila Cabello On the, that event was hot <laughs> <laughs> we're telling these people to be careful and you're starting fires at a Dang, you were playing with the flamethrower today yeah right well oh. because I was pissed that y'all were kissing under the mistletoe and I, I don't have anybody Whoa. so I burnt down the mistletoe mm -hmm. jealousy is the ugliest Trey. Trey. Never <laughs> can we talk about this Thanksgiving Friendsgiving we just oh, had. Oh yeah, let's do of it. Of course, it was he broke his arm. <laughs> we had a we had a rush back here to do the podcast. Yeah, oh, we yeah. leave all our oh, friends oh, and oh, family. Oh, poor Mariah, why this way? Should we let the people know though? Like that we're recording this like kind of. Yeah, what's today? Sure. Today is the twenty fifth. The twenty fifth. Sure, yeah, let's do it, guys. We're recording this early because Heath and Mariah are leaving us unexpectedly to go to. Pennsylvania. So we talked Matt. about this so in Matt. the last podcast. Is, Sorry, we value families. Eh? <laughs> well, I value everybody on this podcast, including the viewers and listeners. So, okay, call me a. <laughs> <laughs> call you a what? I don't know. <laughs> call me dedicated. I don't know. So if it sounds dated, it's not dated. It's just we're trying to be smart about. Yeah. We got. We couldn't skip a week. Yeah, we got shit to talk about. Yeah, it was funny after I burnt down the mistletoe. <laughs> so normal. After <laughs> I burnt down the mistletoe, David was stomping it with his shoes, and yes. the, it melted through his shoe, and he was like, ah. I, mean, he wouldn't I saw it happening and I was like, why is he doing that? And I saw it stick to the bottom of his shoe. I was like, oh my God, it's going to melt the whole fucking and thing. And then he tried to take it off with his hand and burn <laughs> and then his burn hand. His I was hand. like, what do you expect? David is uh, He's like a little street kid. smart, not book smart. Yeah. 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 But, but explain um, like where we were at though and why David was having Yeah, it. so we went to David's house. We had a, a nice little Friendsgiving. Uh, it was really, it was really special. Yeah, it was uh, work day. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> everything is worth it. I, there was there was two full, uh, foldable. Is that the foldable tables? Collapsible. Yeah, the collapsible yeah. tables. Yeah, I walked in. I saw those tables. Immediately, I sent a picture to Heath. I'm like, Heath. I put on my name uh -oh. tag, my badge. I said, <laughs> we clocking in. <laughs> Let's go, boss. I already knew. So every every time there's like an event like that, or there's like their holidays come around or a birthday, David makes Heath jump onto this table. <laughs> it's, it's literally my go-to move. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, it, dude, it, it hurts so much. I'm just surprised you keep doing it over and over again. That makes well, me it's uh, well, my elbow. I busted pretty oh, yeah. hard see, in the see. back of my head. I go, <laughs> <laughs> I, this was the worst. I rocked my head so bad. Well, the thing <laughs> is, you the like the fucking, baby usually the table collapses from under me, but I did it at a weird angle. So it didn't break and fall through. So there was no like cushion. I just <laughs> wham, slammed my head Baby, back that's because it. you're losing weight. You, you all finish it. You can't even... <laughs> I couldn't even bust it. <laughs> right, another crazy thing that happened was that uh, David surprised Natalie early with a second car. <laughs> second car, but it was crazy. It was a Bronco though. It was a baby blue Bronco. It was gorgeous. Beautiful, it was gorgeous. gorgeous. It looked like it just looked like a toy car. It looked like it shouldn't like move. Like just something yeah, just, it was. Gorgeous. It's like something she's gonna have to take to car shows. Like because yeah. oh, it's yeah. such a collectible where she's gonna have to pull up like in those parking lots of car shows and be like, "Look at this car! And yeah, <laughs> I own it." Like, it's gorgeous though. I Great love shape. It. Oh my god! I wanted it to be a puppy though. Like, there, there was a moment though where David was like, "It's something oh, you've always the wanted." Was inside of the Bronco. <gasps> Damn, oh, man. That David! Oh, oh. Natalie would have actually cried if there was a puppy. Yeah, I in think the she would have cried. What but that would never happen because David. I, I mean, I knew it was a, in a puppy because David is like allergic to that shit, right? Yeah, doesn't he like can't even Also, like, like I don't think he he couldn't handle a dog running around yeah. that house. It would just be barking all the time. He'd be trying to film, and he'd be like, "Stop, Natalie! Put your dog in its I, room!" Like, and I love how David fakes his uh, shit with puppies. He'll be like, "Oh," and then the moment the cameras are off, get the shit off. <laughs> Get the shit out of here. <laughs> Speaking of Thanksgiving, you got your cooking, your turkey. I got something else you could do and cook. You could order HelloFresh. Oh, that makes it super easy for mm -hmm. people like me that hate going out and spending money on food. You know what I'm saying? It is literally cooking for dummies, guys. Yeah, it is. It gives you all the ingredients you need to make a home-cooked meal within 30 minutes, all pre-measured, ready to go, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. They have family meal recipes. Mm -hmm. They have smart calorie recipes. They got vegetarian, vegetarian recipes. Yep. The, the whole shebang they got. They have 20 plus different chef curated meals to choose from each week they change it. Yeah. They have the most five star meals out of any other cooking delivery service. You can also add extra meals to your weekly order like garlic bread and cookie dough, Ooh, which is super, little, super little yummy. bonuses. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. I like that personally. I love cookie dough, so I, I'm going to make sure to do that. My favorite thing about it is you could do it for a date night. You could hang out with your boy, yeah. do something, cook a cool meal. And honestly, for you guys, if you want to impress your family let them come home to a home-cooked meal that you set up and you know exactly. surprise them do something nice the holidays are coming up too so you know there's gonna be a lot of home cooking and hello right. fresh just makes it super easy for you to mom do and that. dad are gonna be stressed just let them take a load off order some hello fresh get it delivered and just cook a nice home-cooked meal honestly, it's so easy anybody can do it yeah. literally anybody and honestly hide your parents when you do this because you don't want to show them how easy it yeah, is yeah, yeah exactly make, make it, it seem, seem like you put a lot more work in exactly <laughs> so guys if you want to get 80 dollars off your first order go to hellofresh.com backslash unfiltered 80 and enter code unfiltered 80 for 80 dollars off your first month mm -hmm. which is such a steal and i think you guys should definitely do it again that's hellofresh.com slash unfiltered 80 and put the code unfiltered 80 which is u-n-f-i-l-t-e-r-e-d-8-0 mm-hmm this is like a, a fun topic that we had been a very heated debate in the uh, vlog squad group chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dro, funny. yeah, it was driving a little bit of us crazy. Some people <laughs> thought the people who were debating it were crazy. But uh, the question is, what color is math? <laughs> Such a weird <laughs> question. But when you think about it, you're like, wait, there is an answer. And it's something that you haven't thought about in years. Yeah. It's so crazy. And the answer is yellow. I say what? red. No. It's not yellow. Yellow is like Yellow. Like yellow is like social studies history hold on yeah. wait I let me set hold on let me set this up just a little bit more for the people listening so there was this tweet and it said <laughs> fuck zodiac kinds wait wait hold on let me say that again <laughs> fuck Ooh, zodiac signs it. what color is math and it had four colors it had like red blue purple and like yellow and yellow yeah green and it's really I ambiguous, it's but it comes down to like when you're in school, like what, like what color, color you would put your binder at? Yeah, your folder. Like the little, the yeah. little tabs in your binder. What color is that? I said green. 
Because math is numbers and numbers is money. So no, green is science. No, mm-hmm. green green yeah. has always been science. Every time you think of science, you think green bubbly potion. I feel yeah, like, wait, <laughs> yellow? <laughs> that, right? But I think science I, is a, a test plant, tube. but I love your thinking of potions <laughs> class. I always think of science <laughs> as like you make chemicals. it flubber in your, in your science what? class. Well, you know what? At least we had the same color. But sometimes <laughs> I took like the most boring colors and made it the worst subjects, like the subjects I hated. Wait, too. maybe yellow is English. No, yellow is history. No, no it's not. No. My Spanish uh, folder was red, so that's why my English folder was red. No, your Spanish class should be purple. Why would it be purple? Because it's an elective. It's, it's like an, an elective. elective. The purple tab was for yeah, but blow like up my, horses. The whole vibe of the Spanish class, it was red everywhere. My textbook was red, and my teacher always wore red. So in my head was like red folder. Wait, it's the vibe. Do you guys remember? <laughs> it's the vibe. It's do you guys up. remember those books where it had like the texture on it? Like it was oh, every, oh, it had like the, the, the frog. And yeah, or like yeah, the yeah, different yeah. animal, and it would have like a texture like top. Baby, I think that's just Florida. I think that was like Florida. No, books. what were your books? Was, like a book, was it was it McGraw Hill books? <laughs> yeah, it was wait, McGraw wait, Hill. Old. Uh, I always science. like would make up this rumor about McGraw Hills. I go, you know, it's Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, like on the. Oh the my book. god! <laughs> I loved leaving little oh notes my. in the books. Where like would people would, like turn to, or I would say like turn to page sixty seven, and they would turn to page sixty seven. Then you leave a little oh, note, you and then send it to another page. Oh, that's yeah. The books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it would get to like, the and then last. get to page like eighty three. It's like fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember book socks having to get book socks? Book covers, you mean? Yeah, well, book socks. I know that people got book covers, but we never, we were never. Uh, there was never. It was never mandatory for us to get. Ours book was covers. mandatory, and my mom wouldn't let me get a book sock. I had to use the brown paper bag. Oh. Remember those? Oh my god, <laughs> Pete. Remember the brown paper bags that you put over your covers? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh and there was God. nothing. Oh, I hate I, it. And it fell had, apart within a week. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I, I had like a, it, it wasn't like this. They had the stretchy one, but then there was another one that was like really hard and kind of like had like the scratchy text. You know, like, yeah. It was yeah, like, yeah, kinda yeah, like yeah, a yeah. metallic-y looking. Yeah. Almost like a sticker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hold on. I got to find I, this I remember textbook. when the book sock was too, I call book it a book socks. Sock. Look what it up. Y'all, what are y'all doing book, in Pennsylvania? Book right. S-O-X. Book socks. Hold on, S O X. Or maybe I'm mixing that up with Red Sox. Book socks. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Mariah. Book socks. Yeah. Book socks. That's exist. that's the brand. It's the brand. Or no, or no, or it is just like a. Oh, did you ever coffee. use them? Is- yes, I did. Do you remember? Oh, when, I remember them. Do you remember them being yeah. too tight? Uh, we're, hold on, we're having two. Matt and Mariah are like the time we're talking over the. I'm talking about how good this coffee is. I just <laughs> wait, finished wait, wait. it. Do you remember them okay, being too tight? I got it. And the, got the it. cover flapping open really fast. Guys, for the listeners, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> our textbooks used to have like a texture, so there would be a frog in the science book, and they would make it like bubbly on the book, like, like just like a little like this. They used to look like this. Correct. I and they had like that. the little thing along the side and they had like kind of like a, a like a goose bumpy texture. It was, it was a Flo- it was a Florida thing I think. It was I think it was just Florida books. Did you ever make a turkey with your textbook pages? <laughs> like Oh yes. yes. Where you fold you fold the page into the the, the into um, the into the, the crease. Oh, into like, the crack. And you would keep going until it's big yes. and it looks like this little like <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. We are in you completely different right. worlds. Yeah, exactly. like every time they're talking about get something, we have no Somebody idea. get me a yeah, book. No, we gotta find a book here. But you would turn the book into a turkey. Like you, you would take about, a page oh, and you would fold it so it made a loop and stick it in the crack. Oh, yes. oh no, yes. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like a turkey. Yes, it did. Or like a peacock. A peacock. You gotta explain it a little better. Yes. The only turkey thing I remember doing is the stupid hand turkey. Uh, <laughs> I thought oh, that was the coolest those. thing. Do you remember how bad? some of the arts and crafts used to be in middle school oh yeah and like elementary school i remember we got to make a a present for christmas for our our parents yeah and for my mom we were like we're gonna make a jewelry box and i was like oh yeah a jewelry box (laughs) you will not believe what this jewelry box was it was a tupperware it was literally a glad tupperware type thing (laughs) and then we glued (laughs) hard beans onto it Brown and uh, oh, brown and white beans on. Mine would be macar- the hard macaroni, raw macaroni. In middle school, <laughs> so yeah. bad. That school was bad. Are we going to our ten year? Oh my god! <laughs> I You'll like- have to go. Is it like a thing you have to do? It's very. How, I feel like it <laughs> used to be a thing. I feel like nowadays you just see everybody on Instagram, Twitter. Like, but I, would I like already to know. Go. I would like to go. I, just, I would like to. I see feel it. like I'd be I embarrassed. Like I'd go. Everybody has like is married and have kids, and I'm. <laughs> we show up. They're like, and you "How's have a Vine?" Lamborghini <laughs> <laughs> How's I, Vine? Huh? I hated that. Oh, oh my god. god! So after Zane and I moved out here, we would go back home, 
And people everywhere we went, like our friends that we used to go to high school with, they'd be like, so how's Vine? And I'm like, <laughs> to this day, how's Vine? Like, they just have no idea, which is fine. We don't expect yeah. them to. But like, they have no idea that Vine is just like completely gone. Mm-hmm. So, they, they'd be like, so what are you guys going to do now that Vine's dead? Like, they, <laughs> like, they like had something to be like, mm, well, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the complete opposite. Like, what, like, you know how normally like when you move out of your hometown and you're doing well, like people are really happy for you. It was like kind of like the opposite for Heath and I. Yikes. Like whenever we'd go out and we'd see like people we haven't seen in years, it was always like... I can't believe you guys are big. Like you guys aren't even funny, and it's like, okay. I mean, all right, sure. I mean, it's uh, subjective. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I should have made six second videos instead of got a college degree. I'm like, <laughs> don't oh my, fu- you know uh, what? Leave us alone. Yeah, and you know what really pissed me off is we would go back and we wouldn't talk about anything. Zane and I, we did our thing. We came home. We're hanging out with friends. They'd be, yeah. and they would and always I'm- ask about like, so how's this? What's it like doing this? And then obviously we're gonna answer the questions. And we would, and then all of a sudden somebody else would walk by and over here it's like, all you talk about is Vine and this and and we're like Oh, Oh, I'll never forget like when I like started making vines and like I had like five thousand followers, but I was really excited and I was still in college. Like I was like explaining to my friends, I'm like, guys, no, like Vine's like really popping off. And I had a friend who came he goes, Can I talk to you for a second? He goes, You need to stop talking about Vine, dude. And I go, (laughs) What do you mean? I was just really happy and he was like, No, bro, like just like stop dude talking about it. And still to this day, he like feels a pretty he, bad about it. But like, jealousy's the ugliest train ever. Do it. It. You guys should be total douchebags and show up to the ten year, but like with a full production crew. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no, a boom mic over our head. <laughs> like, and him, like, film it. Him, like, fur coat. That's just that so would funny. be so Glad, just, like, funny. Oh, oh my god! Obviously, like so we can't funny. bring like our cars, so we still rent a Lamborghini, like the exact <laughs> same one that we have out here. That would be but really there, funny. I don't want to make it sound like everybody from back home, but there's there's still like a few people that like you know still support us and like are really. Happy no, yeah, friends. definitely. But we have our, our close friends that obviously supported us through everything we've ever. We do done. run in. Like yeah. th- there's a couple. There's actually a couple of people uh, from high school that's reached out to me like in the past couple of weeks. And, yeah. Like, like sent me like it's just a paragraph like dude Zane. I'm so happy for you. But it was like, it was really nice. Cause like, I really respected this kid in high yeah. school. So Aww. isn't it crazy yeah. how like being in LA, we're so used to everybody being in the loop. And then as soon as you step outside LA, like everyone's out of the loop. Like I, I go back home and no one knows a lot about social media. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they just don't. It is an interesting it. world though. Like obviously like these are like our jobs and our career. And like we, yeah. we do this, but it's hard to explain to somebody that's not in it. Right. Mm-hmm. Because, like even, even still to this day, I can't really explain. People are like, so you, you, your job is YouTube. So you work for YouTube. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't work for YouTube. I, I post on you. Right. So how, do, how, yeah. do you, how do you, I, but the, also what's really frustrating though, is like, I don't pry and ask questions about like my, my cousins and or friends about Other their jobs. Careers, I'm like, right. oh wait, so you're an account or like you do finance? Like I'm not so, gonna so you sit have there different and clients. Yeah. How, how do they pay you? Yeah, like <laughs> right? I'm just like, like <laughs> it's your job. Like do your thing. It's just good to see you. But I'm not gonna sit there and like scrutinize like right. what you do mm-hmm. and how you make your money. Like it's yeah, none of my a, business. But like there's a difference between that and like actually being interested to yeah. see like how oh, how how do you like what are you doing out there? Right. No, Instead it is important skeptical. being interested, but they. Because I guess they are, are a part of it because you're an entertainer, so they want to watch it or view you, but they just want to know, I don't know, yeah. more behind it. It's really interesting. Sense. Yeah. Interesting. But you guys at your high school reunion. What do you do at high school reunions? Would I you think it's just think, like a banquet. Uh, to me, in my brain. <laughs> 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 Wait, what, is, what is a banquet? Yeah, no, Mariah, I thought, I thought 10-year reunions are like you go to the high school. To me, what I imagine for a 10-year reunion, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> I'm picturing prom. Like when it's like I think you show up with your date, like your wife or whatever, like you're I think in. that is it. No, that is it. And it's prom. No, it's yeah. not. No, yeah, because no, my have, parents you, go. Like sometimes like a lot of people just go to other classes reunions. But to catch wait, up. where's is the it, invite? Like, do you sit down at a table, like is it a dance? To me, I <laughs> I picture old friends in ten years haven't seen each other. They're like, So how you been? And they're just, <laughs> just like, you know when you when we go if we go to the ten year the cl- the same clicks are going to be together. Like, oh my god! The popular girls. Oh, that nice. that, oh, yeah. The square. The, isn't that what they call themselves? The square. The square. I've never heard the square. Yeah, it was in the, our school. The uh-huh. square. It was because it was the four of them, and it was the square. <laughs> what? You know, what? No, I've no idea what you're talking about. Remember having well, to square dance? Maybe if you were friends with the popular kids, you would <laughs> no, know. No, I was about. not friends with the popular kids. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever have to square dance in PE? In fifth grade, <laughs> remember we had a. You you didn't have to square dance in fifth grade? No. no. Oh, we did. We had a square dance, and then we also learned to yo-yo in PE. And oh, no. We actually did, like, physical activity 
in PE? Uh, so did yeah. we, but it was a mandatory <laughs> thing. To you had to learn how to school. School. Like, we had to learn the Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah. Remember the Cotton Eye oh, Joe? Oh, yeah. I'd get if Matt had to do it because he's, like, from the South, like, Texas. But Mariah, you had to learn how to squirt it? <laughs> yeah. But I remember we'd, like, laugh at the teacher. was like, this is not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to end up, there would be times in your life where you're going to have to squirt dance, dance with the boy. <laughs> Dude, my, my PE was straight up just, like, we'd have to run a mile, and I would just, <laughs> you know, like, those people that are just, like, <laughs> and it's like run a mile. It's like I ran a mile, and you know then when you didn't run a <laughs> mile, you start cheating, act like you did a couple more laps. <laughs> I remember having to do like water safety and like treading water Dude, for like that was oh, so yeah, much for, like, fun. A that was, was so cool. much fun. Yeah. We had to flip a canoe in and like get back into we, it. So we'd we'd go to this like what was that place called where we'd go with like canoes? It was like oh, a yeah. man-made lagoon <laughs> in Florida, it, the Outdoor Learning Center, <laughs> <laughs> the YMCA. I'm making, up, I'm making up names. For oh you. shit! What was it called? It was it was next. The Bass Pro Shop. Who yeah, cares? Yeah. Oh, and we'd, yeah, oh we'd go God, fishing no too. Kidding. Remember, Heath? We'd go fishing. Yeah, we had a fishing trip. Dude, oh, our Magna program was off the chain, mm. baby. Dude, we we're going on all oh my of God. these field trips. I showed, when we were in Florida, we were at the beach and I showed uh, Mariah the propagules the, you know, from Plant the Fish, the plant a tree thing. Oh, <laughs> That means he loves you if he took you to oh. the propagules. I don't get this. So, your school would take you to a place for you to learn. So, Heath and water I were safety. part of the Magna program in South Plantation. The Magna program was environmental science. Yeah. So, like everything that had to do with environmental science, we would do. So, we had your, your PE class, and then there was our uh, health and wellness type class. And okay. There was, we learned CPR, we did all that type of stuff, but then there was another section for one of the semesters, like quarters, which was uh, water safety. So how to tread water, how to save somebody if they're drowning, all that oh, type of stuff. Oh, we just had to do that in gym. Like, we just went to our pool and had to tread water for a minute. We did oh, not we have, have a pool. We did not oh, okay. have a pool either. Our district had an auditorium. Okay, but yeah, like, but at the same time, her, literally, her high school looks like a college campus. Really? really? It is Huge and it's my high school like went Star viral. Uh, it, it looks like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, from a from an aerial. Oh, view. that's oh, right. Cool. Yeah. Explain this. It's so interesting. Yeah. Or, or, so my high school. I just <laughs> my high school from the aerial <laughs> view looks like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But can you explain? <laughs> <laughs> looks like the Millennium Falcon, and they don't. They like don't explain it. It just went viral, and like the teachers were like, mm. "Wait, it's not called the Millennial Falcon." <laughs> Millennium. No, millennium Falcon. The Millennial? I don't know. Millennium I've Falcon. Never seen Star our, our high Falcon. school. Our not high the school. Millennial. You never saw Star it's, Wars. It, it's not the Millennial Falcon. <laughs> millennium. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boomer. Oh our high school room at Ariel looked like a prison. <laughs> it did not look nice. Ariel and uh, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the security guards like around school? It's always the same security guards. There's like two or three that watch over oh, everybody. Oh, my. Oh. So we had one that got caught taking a student into the bathroom and hooking up with a student. <gasps> and the other one got caught moving. It was, I, I want to look it up because I don't remember the exact number, but I think it was a couple pounds of cocaine. Pounds? Pounds. A lot. Yo, our security or it system was, it was, was like lit. Like was two it? years after we graduated. Yeah, it was nuts. And it was the guy, like the guy that we'd see all the time. He was like the main guy. Yeah. Main security guard. Like he... Was he dealing cocaine to the students? Oh, I don't no, know. Dude, I've, no, no, I've heard that one of the security guards would sell, like, would sell drugs to some of the kids. But they would have what? This, yeah. What high school kid has money for coke? I yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's just expensive. How would you know? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> because I tried buying it off of him and I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Did you ever have to serve like a full day detention or DMC? Like, oh, getting all like, the it? time. Oh, all the time. What was it called? They changed the name every year. They would change it to something different. ISS, in school suspension. We ISS. had to go to ISS. Ours was DMC. Yeah. We had ISS. Yeah. I had to go to it a few times. One, I was skipping class, whatever. Going and buying cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would just uh, act up in class. I, like, I just didn't want to do anything. I would just act. Up. Just being bad kids. I wish we were closer in high school. Like I just feel like we'd have fucked shit up in that school. That would have been really bad. <laughs> I remember bad kids in high school, like actually bad kids who were like going out and like smoking weed on campus and doing like drugs and just like smoking cigarettes i remember being like what the fuck is going on right. but no it literally is just parenting it's like the because every every one of those kids that would do that their parents didn't really care either they would just do it at home with their parents so like, mm -hmm. when they got in trouble and they would get sent home their parents were was like oh you fucking idiot and then yeah. that's it. i remember like, not knowing what weed was until like 
ninth or tenth grade. Yeah, I'd hear it and I'd be like, "Whoa, what is that?" Like, I know I was like, I didn't believe it existed, and there was like, yeah. I didn't want to smoke it, but I knew a kid who had it. I was like, "Can I come to your house and just see it?" Like, I need to, <laughs> I need to know that it exists. That's like, I know, and like, you hear people talk like, "No," and it makes you like high, and you're like, what? "Yeah, what's high?" I don't know how they would smoke and like they would smoke before class. I never understood oh, yeah. how kids got high before class yep. because. The, the second the teacher would sp- like speak to you, you're fucked because like you you could just tell when someone's high. Kids you know? would bring yeah. bottles uh, of alcohol in their backpacks and just take hits. Oh, of, like I was what? I was one of them. Uh, did I tell you what you I used to do? Mi- what I used <gasps> to do in middle school? Huh? Oh my god! Middle school. So I moved like end of fifth grade, and then when I went to sixth grade, I was still like really new to the city. I didn't really know anybody. So there is like these group of kids and I thought they were super cool and I was trying to like be friends with them and they invited me to sit with them at lunch and then like the second week I snuck I thought this was so cool and it sounds so stupid now but I thought it'd be cool to sneak a Smirnoff ice into the school but not not the bottle I poured the bottle into a water bottle then closed it up and I would bring it to school just one one Smirnoff ice thinking that was good. Like, we, yo, we're, all gonna get, we're all gonna get lit from this one bottle of Smirnoff ice, and I'd bring it, and like everybody would take a sip, and I just thought it was I was the coolest fucking kid. What grade was this? Um, this was, was sixth. School? Sixth. What? Yay. Are you kidding me? Sixth grade. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. It was bad. That's why I'm saying it, it was. It was bad. <laughs> I didn't come What do you want like, me to do? I just saw it as it's illegal it cool. to have to be drinking this. It's even more illegal to bring it to school. So I just wanted to impress my friends that I really wanted to be friends with, and then one day. This, I didn't realize that these kids were like didn't like me and they just <laughs> felt bad for me and they would let me sit with them but like they actually didn't like me. One day I was like sleeping on the lunch table like with my head down and they like poured mashed potatoes and gravy all oh, down shit. my back of my uh what? my neck and back like on purpose and they all like ran oh my god this is so depressing but they did that and they walked they ran away and i woke up and i remember just like going home and i was it was like the saddest day because i thought these kids liked me. Oh Three no. Weeks they- Do you know who they are? Shout them out. Yeah, let's call let's call them. Call them right okay. now. They were probably wasted off that. <laughs> 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 yeah, and one of the and one of the girls in that group, I really like. I had a huge crush on. So I thought I was like in the top of the world Oof. until I found out she was one of them that poured the mashed potatoes and gravy. What's down her name? Back. Call that bitch out. Put her on blast. Come man. on, you can Should say it. You can say her name. Say her name. Just Do the it. first name. You'll Lacey Marino. Oh, I knew oh, it. You said the full name. <laughs> Lacey Marino. Okay, Miss Gravy. We call her. <laughs> <laughs> How great would it be for then the next episode we get an apology from her and we read it i'll take that apology and shove it do you right think up there's there. anybody out there right now that does owe you an apology i don't know i don't know i don't hold grudges with shit like that you know but it's crazy it's, how like one moment one experience that happens when you're a kid it will like, stay you with rem- you remember it for the rest mm-hmm. of your life matt and i were taught we're um like we had a deep conversation uh like a couple nights ago in your room oh yeah where i was just like telling about my like my like my whole like my my family history and like how i was raised up and he just couldn't believe it like to me it's just normal like yeah. my dad and my mom both divorced i had to go back and forth to each house and both both religions were completely mm-hmm. different so i had to like basically have a front in this house have a front in this house and he just thought like now that, just, yeah I it just fast yeah it fascinates me so much how you like you know you grew up like in two homes, but also just two very separate homes in terms of like their their yeah. culture and vibe and everything, and that like having to juggle both of that. I feel like I still have this social anxiety when it comes to like when we go out and, um, and like I have to try to have a conversation with someone I don't know. I still have a hard time because I didn't get to have that when I was like younger. Yeah. When I was living with my dad, I didn't really have any friends. I didn't have friends I could talk to mm-hmm. or like you know just talk just talk about like whatever was on my head. I, I would I only have my dad and my stepmom, but like. I couldn't really talk to him about shit because, like, it was just really strict in the house. I didn't really want to give him mm-hmm. my, yeah. my problems. Do you think that's, like, played a role in, like, also how you are, like, I don't know, as a comedic person? Like, do you think your, like, sense of humor came from, like, I want to say, like, a defense mechanism, but a response to your own environment? A hundred percent. And that's why, like, that's why I appreciate, like, all the friends. I Like, to me, all, having all you guys and having so many, like, so many close friends and, like, they're my best friends, that's so, that, I appreciate that so much because yeah. I didn't have that. And so, like, that's why I never want to be alone. That's why I'm in my house and, like, all day I'm sitting in the house. I'm like, I just want to, I just want to like, hang out with somebody. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, you guys know how I never like to be alone. I always want to hang yeah. out. Yeah, I always you. say, like, when Matt has to leave after the podcast, Zane kind of, like, lingers. He grabs yeah, his keys. Say. And then he stays till 4 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other night, he's like, dude, I really got to go. And I was like, well, let's let's just have, like, a coffee or something. And then he's he just ends up sitting there. We're, like, on Zillow. We're looking at houses. We're like, we could move oh, in here. Yeah. What about this one? Heath and I were on a high a couple of nights ago. Right now, we have a... We 
we have a plan. We want to live, if not together, close together. So we want to be able to find like two houses that are right down the street from each yeah. other. Imagine a cul-de-sac. Our... Imagine oh, like a compound. Like if, <laughs> a commune. Just a giant <laughs> commune. Yeah, yeah. No, how cool would it be if like it was just a, a big plot of land and like David has a house on it, you have a house, like oh, I'm on it. I, and like it's just like. And we all have kids and they all, they're all friends. Oh my God. And there's a lake. <gasps> <laughs> we, t- we take them on the boat and, uh, we, tr- and we make them tread water well, and I, I teach them how to fish the, I would love for all of us just to live on a lake too yes. and we yeah. could just like dang that great. does sound really nice hey yeah. it could become a reality one yeah. day just dream big Heath and I have some news to share with both of you also we want to get your guys opinion on what Heath and I want to do for season two of Zane and Heath oh Filter. right 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 so we want to revamp we want to take it the extra notch take it the extra mile or mm. go the extra mile you know we want to give you guys more content on this channel on the youtube.com slash Zane and Heath channel this is what we were talking about till four in the morning by the way oh, yeah. this, <laughs> while, this was us, us jacked up we were testing the rest of our coffee and we're just like sitting there just like <laughs> what if we fuck it <laughs> just on a high for season two Heath and I want to start like posting like Zane and Heath content on there since like mm-hmm. Heath and I, we love making videos together. We just, I, we feel like we can't really make that on our own channels. But when, it, like, if we have a channel together, we could really just send it and go full throttle. Yeah, day. we got super excited thinking about doing like different style videos, stuff that we don't post on our own channels, and it's something completely different that we would be posting on the Zane and Heath Unfiltered channel. Yeah, um, and we'd have like a camera guy recording both of us, and it'd be a totally different style video. Exactly, um, and and also for season two, we want to move this set to a bigger set. We want to rent out a studio. Like a big studio to have like just a full production what we want to know is guys would you like to see this stuff like would you yeah. like to see uh, another video a week yeah um, well, how, how do you guys feel about it do you think it's a good idea to have like something other than the podcast on our channel yeah I think so I mean I'd be interested in what the viewers have to think yeah like, let yeah. us know in the reviews and comments how obviously you feel about they that. they would want more but do we like keep them wanting more instead of giving them more? You know. So for season two, we want to have like a really, really, really cool set. Yeah. Um, and just step the production up a lot, make it look a lot crazier. Because we do, because we do really care about this and, podcast. We want to give you like the best quality stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and with the release of our new coffee company coming out, like it's just gonna be. Oh my god, we're on such a high. We're gonna have it's a little so barista good. stand. That's where Matt and Mariah are gonna be. Oh, a little barista we, we, stand. We make them the... wear like a uh, <laughs> apron. An apron with the. <laughs> I do not like that idea. They're like, no, we gotta we're... wear a uniform. <laughs> a uniform. Oh my god, we gotta get ready for work every day. <laughs> we, we, yeah, no. Honestly, please in the comments in the reviews, let us know if you would like to see that because we do we do want to give you guys more. Please say yes because we're excited. And we yeah, want to do it. We just think it'd be so fun. We'll do <gasps> oh whatever. my god. What? I don't know. Oh fuck. What? what? Is what? I don't know. I just. Dude, oh what my god! You thought it was... I, st- I still don't know what it is. Don't fucking there's yell some, at me. There's some creeper sometimes. Like, remember, is it a person or an animal? I don't know. I just or literally fire. saw something Woo! right at the window. Lord Jesus! I don't know what it was. Hold on, y'all sit in your seats. I'll look. It literally just went <laughs> right by the thing. Could be a possum. Was it? Was it no, it was, was it like. Di- it was up higher. It was like your height just went right by. I hope it Whew, was. Sorry oh, about that, Maybe we can ask them to join the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it's the admission abort. Abort? That reminds me of the time. Remember there was a white glove in front of your house? This is when you first moved here. Wow, I totally forgot about that. That's, yes. That was scary. And remember when we, you, we looked it up? And like we saw that it meant something. Yeah, people do weird things like Ooh, that. I just got goosebumps. Just like re- just remembering me looking like just seeing. Yeah, that, there's like, another thing people do. It's like something like a marking on the tire. You know what I'm talking about? People oh, do that shit too. Like when they mark a car that they're. I don't they know. Do that's like that's to, they do that's that to shit. show how long you've been parking for. That's how they. No, 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 not. <laughs> not, 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 not parking meter guys where they see if, like you've oh. been for an hour. Like there's something else people do where like, they like. like like sex trafficking like stuff. or they they mark like the house with something mm. that they're gonna hit didn't we see that the white glove meant that somebody already checked out that spot like i don't we, know we already hit this house wait like, what good. a bizarre object that to put out the like way, a white it, the way glove. it was set up it was like it was it was planted there was it not yeah, you it sent was, me a picture it was weird it was just like a glove at my front door i don't know it was then who was that signaling? Why can't they just put like a piece of tape on it? It was Michael box? Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, scary we're, stuff. Guys, That's right. why I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Go to Pennsylvania for Thanksgiving mm-hmm. and do my thing. Um, Matt, I cannot stop looking at that sweater. Why do you like it? Like it's cool, but like, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah, that Matt. Sweater, Matt, yeah, Matt how, much how much was that, that sweater? sweater? Come on. <laughs> this sweater cost me, it cost me 360 <laughs> 
dollars. I can't stop looking at it though. It's re- it's cool. It's a good idea that the car is the same color as the sweater. I don't yeah. know. I like it. Yeah, um, this was. I, I remember know, when I have never in my life spent this much money on a piece of clothing. I haven't. Mm-hmm. I haven't. <laughs> so before lives. Matt got the sweater, did you order this when you got your your surgery? Because you got boots, oh. you got you got <laughs> shoes. Yeah, he, he got, got a sweater. Sweater. Buy, huh? Well, Matt's, Matt's the happening. type of guy who won't buy something that looks like it costs that much money. He'd buy like a Mickey Mouse hat from the '40s that cost two grand. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hundred percent. Maybe. So maybe. Like, you but... look at it and it doesn't look like a design or piece of like expensive thing but I know yeah. well uh, yeah so I like bought that it, looks like it was cool. 15 bucks from Spencer's are you <laughs> yes. clearly have not come and touched it he, because he, it, it feels I mean, it, very I mean, good I felt it I mean I remember feeling it and saying oh that is feels like but it doesn't I'll tell you what it doesn't good. feel like it's soft, but it ain't Zany Heath Unfiltered merch soft. Exactly. Make sure okay, to get your bro. merch at fanjoy.co slash Zany Heath. We got a sale that's up to 40% off. Hey. Come on, oh, baby. We are selling out quick. So you make sure to get quick. that merch. Make yeah, guys, make sure to get it. We are selling out very quick. We had a, a second wave just start up. Uh, <laughs> second wave? Yeah. No, we... <laughs> We push the numbers out there. So, guys, make sure to get that. And we got we got hoodies, T-shirts, coffee mugs, and phone cases. Another great gift idea for this holiday season is Dollar Shave Club. Ooh. Mm, tell them what Dollar Shave Club is, Zane. Guys, Dollar Shave Club are the people that bring amazing grooming products and millions of members. My personal favorite thing that they offer is the Ultimate Shave Gift Set. It's got the prep scrub. It's got their famous shave butter. It's got the six-blade razor. And it also has the post-shave dew. And let me tell you, I actually used it yesterday to shave up under here and I got the closest shave I've ever had in Ooh, my entire I mean, life. I can see it right now. It's still pretty It's still pretty clean down there. It looks so good. Normally when I shave, I have to go over it a couple of times to get all the hair off, but I did it in one swipe and it was a clean like stroke and all of the hair was gone. I was like, whoa, Ooh. I've never had yeah. anything like that before. Yeah, I know. It's, it's nice for me because I have really, really scraggly yeah, Arab stiff, hair. Stiff hair. Oh yeah, so Dollar Shave, like the razors at Dollar Shave Club, it just, it, it's the, honestly the best for me. Guys, so if you want something that's good quality, you know somebody's gonna love it, Please check it out. Also, they got new active loungewear. They mm-hmm. got the Robe Lancho, which yep. is a robe, poncho, and blanket all combined into Super one. Super comfy, good quality material, mm. and it's just cozy. It is. It is. And, it, and it's very fashionable, too. Mm-hmm. You can wear it on a Saturday night when you don't want to go out and you want to stay in and watch <laughs> movies, eat some popcorn. There you go, baby. You throw on that Robe Lancho. Get a nice got... little clean shave, toasty up by the fireplace. A little hot chocolate. That sounds okay. so good right now. <laughs> I just like imagine that in my head. Damn, so that was guys, nice. If you want to check it out, go to dollarshaveclub.com backslash unfiltered. Again, that's dollarshaveclub.com slash unfiltered. And give a gift that you know that loves one, that friend, that family member is going to enjoy. Exactly. And you can get it for your boyfriends, your girlfriends, anybody that needs a close shave. Mm-hmm. Great for the holidays because we get a little hairy when it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's, he's selling it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, make sure to go to dollarshave.com slash unfiltered and get you some products. It is a gift that you won't regret. Exactly. I get so excited talking about like the future with you. I know. And it, we, we've never had conversations like that until this podcast started. It really has brought us all closer. <laughs> like in, in a really weird way it has. Yeah. I'm really excited for everybody. We're looking at houses next door to each other. We're oh. talking about children. Child kids. <laughs> Grand- it really, grandkids. It really hits you like that, huh? It really mm-hmm. does. It really does. Um, oh, I have I have something to share with you guys. So oh, it, Everybody, it's... check under your seats. <laughs> check in your so pockets. Zane, pull Zane. out your phone. I could not believe my eyes and ears when I saw this shit. What was it? Pull out your phones. We're going to watch it together. I could not it's believe It's airdrop it. time. How they going to do you, you, do you dirty like this, Heath? Did, what? It's of me? No, no, no. It's it's not of you, but oh, just, just watch it. Wait, no. wait. One second. Guys, wait. Wait till I get it. Wait till I get it on my phone. Three, two, one, one play. Yeah. Hold on, Big Red, because we're going to draft. Draft. No, we're not. All right, the floor. Big oh. Red? They use Big Red to to describe their car. Hmm. 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 I, I find know. it hard to Weird. believe that they came up with that in their creative team room. Was that a Kia Soul that I saw? No, that was a I Range Rover. That was, that was literally red the car Range you just got rid of for a Lamborghini. <laughs> I thought it was a Kia Soul. I didn't. I didn't look really at the car. I thought it was a. I thought it was a Kia Soul. Ooh, maybe. Or do you think? Oh, it is oh, a Range Rover. Maybe. No, I do think you're right that they probably totally stole it. Of course they did. And then Weird. not Big Red, but stole the in. name of Big Red. And then now they're targeting these ads towards 
us and uh-huh. our followers. To get people to be like, oh my God, did you hear they called it Big Red? Check yeah. out this ad. Mm. Yes. Yeah, Thank- because now we all have it. You just sent it to all and of us. And we just put it on the podcast. Shit. <laughs> and I just ordered a Range Rover. Uh-uh. There's going to be a and lawsuit. Now I have State Farm. <laughs> like a good thief, State Farm is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Actually, don't talk shit. State Farm has the lowest insurance ever. Jesus, this wind is getting yeah. so intense. It is. I feel like I your house hope, is... I hope everything's going to be okay tonight. Yeah, we probably have to clean up the yard after this. Uh, I, I didn't come here to do yard work. <laughs> <laughs> so eerie hearing that wind, though. Yeah. I know. It's like it's howling. You know how we like to share uh, news articles from Florida? Yes. You have I, one? I found one. Ooh. I found one uh, a couple of days ago. This one's really funny. The article is called, A Florida Dog... You guys... You guys. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we're just exchanging Whoa, mints. whoa, what the... F- y'all, y'all doing drugs over we're there? We're just exchanging mints. Continue the okay. conversation. You guys ready? All right. A Florida dog put a cart into reverse and drove it in circles for nearly an hour. Shut the fuck Oh, I up. saw that. There's that is all, so there's funny. There's also a video. No <laughs> the way. Video that was in Florida? So good. Here, a dog. Let me urge all the <laughs> What kind of dog? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> well, yes, because the size of the seat. Well, and... was it a German Shepherd? <laughs> How do you stop it? That isn't funny. A child could have been I out don't, there. I honestly honestly don't think they wanted to stop it because they found it so hilarious. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> How does that really even happen? Though. It pushed on the brake? Yeah, Hit hold it on. into reverse? I don't know. I, I now cranked the wheel and is giving it, it gas? the car? I feel like the owner was in it, mm-hmm. didn't put it in park, ran in to grab something, and then... <laughs> and the poor dog is just like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm smelling something a little fishy. Someone it's wanted so to go viral. A little staged. I wanted to show you guys something else. I love the power of the... Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have something better to share? <laughs> no, I just love it. It's show and tell for Zayn. Okay. Right <laughs> I'm just keep. I'm keeping it alive. Okay. I just want to show the power of the internet. I thought this was really funny. A girl films a video of a guy that's uh, like across from her on a flight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, she's like, oh my god, who is he? Like, I-, I want him, but like, she doesn't talk to him or anything. And she posts on Twitter, and the Twitter goes viral. Oh my gosh. Literally, it goes viral before the plane lands. And the, another the person finds up. this guy walking out of the airport and replies to her tweet saying, found him, sis. Shut the <laughs> hell Whoa. up. Whoa. No. Weird. Hey, I Before love the Before the internet. flight landed. Like, that's nuts. That's wild. Did the girl have, like, a following or, like? N- no, oh. no, no. The girl did not the have a The power of Twitter. You know, the, wow. do your thing, Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it it really does it's crazy. Everybody was like, girl, you had three hours to talk to this guy. What Just be you? like, <laughs> 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 you had three hours of talking That's to this guy. So Did they crazy. ever meet up or just somebody I'm saw? I'm not sure. Him. That was the last I, th- I oh, heard. I would but love like, I just an thought, I thought it was crazy. You know what? That- this was crazy, but this isn't like the power of the internet, but this is a totally true story. I sat next to Selena Gomez before she was famous on a flight from LA to Dallas in How like you know 2004. This? Because. Okay, so I was on a spring break family vacation in LA. I was like a freshman in high school. Um, and I was on this flight from LA to Dallas and this girl was across the aisle from me. She was like with her mom. She had a sidekick three, I remember. And she was so beautiful. Like I couldn't take my eyes off this girl because she was like my age. And I just looked at her the entire flight and I remembered everything. And I even down at the baggage claim, I was like, I really want to talk to this girl. Never did. Was too scared to whatever. Then that week it comes out in the paper that a girl from Dallas has been casted on a show called Wizards of Waverly Place. Get out of here. And it was the girl from the flight. It was Selena Gomez. I kid you not. The girl also, her mom looked just like her. If you look at Selena Gomez and her mom, they look identical. Dude, it was Selena Gomez. And still to this day, like she was sitting just right next to me on that flight. That's crazy. I really want you to meet her because I want you to tell her this story. Yeah, that's crazy. She'll probably, I remember trying to send her like an email, like on a fan club thing, being like, do you remember that flight from (laughs) I know. That's funny. But yeah, that's she's just like. Oh my God! You were the guy from that email. Yeah. Remember well, them? I don't know. She she was definitely not looking at me because she was just on her phone like I'm about to blow up. I'm, <laughs> I'm about to be a star. Well, but, she was wow. looking at Zane the other night. Remember, she was looking at your story. Oh yeah, she was. Oh yeah, she was story. on my story. She oh, watched all that? your birthday stories. Yeah. So you you, some, you could see sometimes there's randomly it'll pop up like people that you follow or people that you know on your IG story viewers, and she was on there. Wow. If you wanted to come to my birthday party, you should have just DM me. Okay. You know? <laughs> She's listening to the podcast right now. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, Did you guys see the the video, the TikTok of the two girls that got into an accident and flipped? Yes, and they, they fucking still made did a TikTok. TikTok. They like they upside did that. down filming a TikTok. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stupid but boys, yeah, I thing. don't need them. <laughs> but if <laughs> I, I but if I was a teenager, the first thing I'd think if something just crazy happens, I'm like, I gotta TikTok this. <laughs> it turns tragedy into trending. Like, <laughs> tragedy into trending. That's crazy. So crazy. Crazy. They should have showed them like in the accident and then being like. So back to what, what I was else? saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, man, All right, yeah. let's stop TikToking about okay, TikTok. TikToking. <laughs> oh, I think it was funny that Kesha last night at the AMAs performed like TikTok, the song TikTok. Oh, that's oh, really? funny. While and this is so because she knows stupid. people are looking up TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. her team and was that's like, gonna come up. Her yeah, team yeah, was yeah. like, "Yo, TikTok's trending. You get, get that song out. Get there. that song it. back out." David hosted the AMAs yesterday. I just can't believe how many, how much we're seeing that kid on TV. It's crazy. Why? Crazy. Like he's he's transitioned to an actual celebrity now. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. It was so funny. David sent us his script. He's like, "Hey guys, uh, can any of you help me on this?" He had like two words on the script. Here's <laughs> Kesha. <laughs> he sent me a voice. Here's Kesha. I was like, "Sounds great, Dave. Good job." <laughs> how would you? How would you? say it here's kesha <laughs> okay and you he that sounded like american idol <laughs> uh, <clears throat> here's kesha whoa <laughs> Matt, oh, Matt, that's, so you're gonna like, pause? that's like an honorary like oscar award it's like, <laughs> like she's about you. to get like a lifetime achievement thing here's kesha <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen no no, no no build up wait <laughs> Wait, no, wait, it's, wait. It's hard. It literally, all he had was here's Kesha. Uh, I'd be like, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> folks, Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, bold. That was good. Oh, my yeah. dumbass would be like, Kesha here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kesha yeah, here. That's how Saints Raid would be. I'd be like, here's Kesha. Whoa. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> oh, oh. Miss oh. Keisha. <laughs> oh, she's Miss been dead. Keisha. Here's Kesha. <laughs> I can't do it. Mariah, how would you do it? I just... Here's Kesha. <laughs> oh she looked God. like a news anchor. She was just like, here's Kesha. No, here's, no, no. here's Kesha. Back, back to you, Kesha. <laughs> you look like you've been a news anchor woman for like <laughs> 80 years and you're fucking over. You're like, here's Kesha. Here's Kesha. <laughs> so, didn't you get asked to present at the, uh, what was it? What? <laughs> the streamies. No, they they want Heath and I to present at the streamies. Mm -hmm. And we we're like, Heath has to present and you have to not. <laughs> <laughs> what if they ask Unfiltered to present? We should get this out of the way. If we ever win an award for this podcast, I'm not saying we will, but if we ever do, is it just oh the God. two of us or do we have to bring Mariah and Matt too? <laughs> I mean, I'm going with the name here. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Right. Cool. <laughs> we'll, shout, we'll give you a shout out on stage. <laughs> Guys, we want to thank Matt and Mariah for co-hosting. <laughs> we'll just wait. <laughs> <laughs> you guys accept our award for us because we don't feel like getting up. It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. You know, we have to go up, grab the mics, and then bring them back to the seat so <laughs> to accept it. So are you going to uh, present at the... Uh, I think it'd be really I funny. So. I would never do it by myself, but I feel like I'd feel much more comfortable doing That's it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Don't be brats. Do it. We want to do the podcast section. Of the That'd be cool to announce. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Episode 12 <laughs> in the house. This is episode 13. 13. Oh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's all right. It's because we didn't post the last episode yet, the video, so I can't... I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe it's 13. been it's been 13 episodes. We're really out here doing this podcast. Shit. It makes time go by faster though, too. It seems like yeah. it's always one. We're always knocking one out. Uh -huh. Like it just exactly. it's yeah, it's crazy. Thank you guys again for always tuning in and listening to us. We really appreciate it. Make sure to leave a review on our podcast if you haven't already. You can check that out. Spotify, podcast app, all that other good stuff. And we also post uh, the video on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Zane and he. Mm -hmm. That is right. And and make sure once again to check out our merch. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, uh, coffee cups, phone cases, all that good stuff. So get out there. Have an amazing Thanksgiving. Yeah. And just enjoy the time with your family. Here's like Kesha. Here's, Here's Kesha. Kesha. <laughs> American Idol. <laughs> American Idol. Ameri Next on American Idol. American Idol. <laughs> all right. Happy holidays, guys. All right. Love you guys so much. You have a great, great, Bye. great Monday and Tuesday. Bye. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, y'all. The juice. The funny.